Qualche tempo fa vi avevo parlato di Chartmill, un tool che ritengo molto interessante per fare dello stock screening, ma anche per andare a fare analisi tecniche e capire con alcuni indicatori di analisi ad esempio fondamentale quali possono essere le aziende che faccia, facciano al caso vostro. E avevo fatto anche un ulteriore tutorial approfondito su utilizzo e funzionalità. Vi avevo anche promesso un'intervista con uno dei fondatori della piattaforma, ebbene, quel giorno è arrivato. Ecco l'intervista subito dopo la sigla. Ciao a tutti, io sono Pasquale e questo è Il Risparmio, il canale del tuo investitore e risparmiatore della porta accanto. Oggi parliamo di Chartmill nuovamente con la promessa intervista a Christophe, uno dei fondatori della piattaforma. Con lui andiamo ad approfondire tanti aspetti, novità, funzionalità, progetti futuri e qualsiasi altra cosa ci viene in mente sulla piattaforma. Le mie domande per questa intervista saranno poste in italiano, così poi potete seguirla tranquillamente e metterò i sottotitoli in inglese per gli utenti stranieri o internazionali, mentre Christophe risponderà in inglese e per conto suo metterò sottotitoli in italiano per tutti voi. Cominciamo. Christophe, prima di tutto grazie di essere ospite mio quest'oggi. La prima cosa che volevo chiederti è una tua breve introduzione. Chi sei tu? Cosa fai? E se puoi darci anche qualche informazione in più su Chartmill. Thanks Pascal and welcome everyone. My name is Christophe. I am one of the co-founders of Chartmill. And first of all, Pascal, one to, I would like to express my thanks to you for the review of Chartmill and the Chartmill website. The comments and additional questions are really valuable for us because it gives us a better idea of how Chartmill is currently experienced and used. After all, the ongoing development of software like Chartmill, uh, it never stops and that is precisely why feedback is so important for us. It allows us to focus on the things that matter the most. The very first version of Chartmill dates back to 2009 and gradually new features and additional markets were being added. Uh, and of course, this is something which will continue to evolve in the future. In short, Chartmill is a financial analysis tool that offers a lot of technical and fundamental screening capabilities. Grazie mille. Un'altra cosa che volevo chiederti è relativa al fatto che mi dicevi nell'email che ci scambiavamo prima di questa intervista che l'idea principale di creare Chartmill era la mancanza nei tool esistenti che voi utilizzavate di cose che voi ritenavate necessarie. Cosa vi mancava in quegli altri prodotti? Perché avete creato il vostro? So why did we develop Chartmill? I think really because what we were looking for at the time was not available, not in one platform anyway. Uh, there were some stock screeners, uh, of course, but they were all heavily focused on US stocks. And always there was something that wasn't possible or didn't go as smoothly as we wanted it to go. And from there came the idea to make something ourselves. After all, we were already quite active in investing and trading back then and the screener was initially developed uh, purely for our own use. Uh, the very first version was an ordinary chart program for European stocks without any screening possibilities but pretty soon we started to add filtering possibilities, initially very simple filters, uh, filtering on price, volume, trend recognition and also the possibility to filter on the value of an indicator Uh, such as the RSI, for example, RSI lower than 30 or filtering on, on RSI higher than 70 and so on. And for active traders who are looking for setups on a daily basis, such filters offer a huge advantage because of the time saved when compared to manual filtering. Meanwhile, the possibilities in Chartmill have expanded uh, enormously and when we are now mainly focusing on more fundamental data and fundamental screening possibilities. Una cosa che ho notato è che avete un sistema di pagamento molto diverso da altri um, tool basato in questo caso sui crediti. Ma un'altra cosa molto interessante è che la versione gratuita è uguale, praticamente completa, solo che può essere usata in maniera meno massiva. Come mai questa decisione? The credit system is in our opinion the most fair system because it allows us to differentiate between those who use Chartmill only occasionally and those who use it more intensively. Um, with most stock screeners there is indeed a distinction made in the functionality of the software and that functionality is sometimes considerable less for those who use the software for free. So paying members have more options uh, and in most programs free members can have a taste of the full version in the form of a trial period but this is usually limited to one or two weeks at most. And at Chartmill we think that is insufficient. 
we also do have a trial period uh, where no credits are taken into account and the use is completely free. But once that period is over, the possibilities of what you can do with Chartmill remains completely the same. Uh, therein lies the difference with other stock screeners and to that end each free user receives 6,000 credits every month and the only difference with the paid version of Chartmill occurs in the number of results you will see when you have exhausted those credits. So if you use Chartmill only occasionally you will always be able to use the software for free with the 6,000 credits that are awarded each month and important you can also save them up indefinitely uh, but if you are a regular user however 6000 credits uh, per month will not be enough you can then opt for a monthly or a yearly subscription or you can top up the credits by buying individual credits grandioso questo sistema è veramente favoloso nella versione gratuita praticamente ci sono tutte le cose della versione tra virgolette premium semplicemente se la si usa in maniera non massiva e tranquilla, se invece la si usa in maniera molto passiva bisogna ricaricare il credito come con un telefonino cellulare praticamente. Vabbè, passiamo oltre. Ci sono progetti di introduzione di nuovi mercati, per esempio noi italiani ameremmo molto eh, fortemente sapere ad esempio se in futuro uh, aggiungerete uh, le aziende di Fuzimib. There are currently no specific plans to add new markets in the short term, I must confess. Uh, compared to many other stock screeners, Chartmill already offers a lot of data. And of course, it also depends on the demand and the possibilities. Every day we do get requests to add this or that specific market. However, the reality, the reality is that it requires quite a bit of work and uh, investment to provide uh, additional data. Of course, we would like nothing more than to be able to offer all markets worldwide as of tomorrow on, but that is simply impossible. Um, it also has to do with the choice to prioritize the quality of the screener always and everywhere. Covering a lot of markets can be tempting, but not at the expense of screening capabilities. So that is mainly what Chartmill is focusing on right now, the further expansion of both the technical and the fundamental screening capabilities. Uh, and for the technical part, we are therefore mainly working on the custom screens. So these custom screens offer the advantage that you can also fine tune the predefined values of certain filters yourself. This already exists to some extent, but we want to expand these in the future so that the possibilities become even greater. And to give a simple example, um, price in 2% range of SMA20 and the price in 5% range of the Simple Moving Average 20 are now standard filters in the performance part of the stock screener. And with the custom screens, you can adjust that percentage to any value you want. However, for the Simple Moving Average section, the choices are now limited to 5 10, 20, 50, 100 or even 200. And also for these filters it should eventually, eventually be possible to fill in any value. Capisco, comunque volevo ricordare che il mercato italiano fa parte di Aeronext e che quindi sarebbe uno dei mercati principali, uno dei primi, che andrebbe ad arrivare aggiunto alla piattaforma. Una cosa che apprezzo tantissimo è lo screener di analisi fondamentale, perché dà moltissime informazioni, è completo, ma come fa Chartmill a calcolare tutti i dati? C'è una sorta di intelligenza artificiale che lavora sotto, l'avete creata da zero, oppure vi siete basati su qualcosa che era già esistente. Fundamental indicators are of course calculated according to the applicable formulas. Uh, the fundamental reports are an evaluation of these different indicators within the grouping, growth, Uh, value, profitability, financial health and so on. As we thought it useful to arrive at an overall score for each of these aspects. And how exactly these scores are generated is uh, specific to Chartmill and therefore I really can't provide much information about it. But be aware that these values are ultimately averages. So obviously a company with a score of 9 out of 10 on profitability will have much better profitability indicators than a company uh, that only gets 3 out of 10. Uh, so the scores are a good starting point, uh, but do not in themselves give any detailed info. So when comparing fundamental indicator scores, you should, for example, always take into account the sector or industry of which the stock is part of. Uh, 
companies in the construction sector, for example, will on average have uh, a higher degree of debt than companies in the services sector, because the former is simply more capital intensive. Uh, and you shouldn't therefore simply compare a ratio such as debt to equity across different sectors. Uh, the fundamental reports are ideal for a first broad selection and with the specific financial data uh, that is also available on Chartmill, you can then analyze them individually and in greater depth. A questo punto mi sorge una domanda. Ci sono nuove features o funzionalità in arrivo nel breve o nel medio periodo? Immagino che siate sempre all'opera per cercare di migliorare la piattaforma. New features are always on our agenda and at the moment we are mainly working on expanding the screen capabilities and the fundamental filters. Chartmill originally started as a purely technical screener, uh, but has gradually evolved into a more completely technical and fundamental analysis tool. Uh, this year several fundamental ratios will be added, uh, cash flow ratios, return on invested capital, weighted average cost of capital and so on. And Chartmill is actually one of the few platforms that offers both for the earnings per share and the revenue growth estimated figures for the next five years, to give just one example. And with the new ratios, a new discount cash flow model is also being developed. And this is something that is specifically planned for this year and which we are extremely looking forward to and also excited about. Uh, all these factors will ultimately also have an effect on the quality of the fundamental reports. And the more data you can progress, the more accurate your results will be. Um, as I said, we are really trying to focus on quality in the first place. It makes it much more easier and much more efficient afterwards to add additional markets. So we fully understand that there are quite a few requests from users around the world. That includes ourselves, by the way. Uh, but the reality is, however, that the wish list seldom corresponds to the urgent to-do list. So a lot of work is required behind the scenes to ensure that everything uh, runs correctly and with sufficient performance. Uh, and as an end user, this is of course much less noticeable than when a new feature is added. Beh, questo è interessante, soprattutto i vari indicatori che saranno aggiunti e il discounted cash, cash flow, il DCF, che potrebbe interessare tantissimo value investor, come ad esempio il mio amico e collega Davide Isidoro. Um, a proposito, vi consiglio il suo canale che offre contenuti sul value investing da paura. Dovreste sicuramente visitarlo e andare a iscrivervi. Christophe, da un punto di vista prettamente autocritico, cosa pensi sia unico in Chartmill e cosa invece pensi sia da migliorare? So software like Chartmill is always evolving. There is no really an end point at which the product is finished. That is the beauty, but of course it's also the challenge uh, of this type of software. There are many things, many small things that can and will be provided and improved in a relatively short period of time. But if I consider things that really can have a great lasting value um, in the longer term, then to me it is the ability to extensively back and forward test the screens. Those are really things that can make a difference, but again, you can do that quickly or you can take the time to do it really good, really well and document it uh, sufficiently so that you not only say it is an added value, but it is also experienced in that way by the users. And surely where Chartmill differs from other screeners is in its overall capabilities. The software has evolved in such a way that today we can provide a full technical and fundamental screener for more than 20,000 stocks with extensive features and numerous indicators. Furthermore, we get a lot of positive reactions to our custom screen capabilities, especially from our more experienced users uh, who can in this way create very specific screens that they consult on a weekly or even daily basis. And in addition, uh, our trading ideas page is uh, catching uh, the eye. On this page, you are able to set up specific filters depending on your own investment style. And as a result of which you only get to see the predefined screens which meets these requirements. Bene, Christophe, grazie mille per essere stato con noi quest'oggi. Auguro a Chartmill tutto il meglio. Una piattaforma che dà in maniera gratuita 10 anni di storico ha veramente, secondo me, una marcia in più. È gratis, 10 anni di storico, boh. Va bene, spero di averti nuovamente ospite in futuro, magari per annunciare nuove funzionalità. So thanks everyone and thanks again Pascal for the interview. Uh, if there are any questions, remarks or feedback regarding uh, the software, uh, please let us know through the website uh, or through any of our uh, social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram or even our YouTube page. 
uh, it is highly appreciated. If you want to experience yourself what Chartmill is capable of, uh, register for a free account if you haven't done it already. And on our YouTube channel, there is a special uh, series, a special playlist, the Chartmill Academy series, uh, which will get you up and running in no time uh, when using Chartmill. So meanwhile, uh, greetings from Belgium, take care and hopefully I'll see you soon at uh, Chartmill. Bye. Grazie mille Christophe ancora per la tua disponibilità, come appunto menzionava Christophe poco fa, iscriversi a Chartmill è gratuito, se lo fate con il mio link affiliato qui sotto aiutate il mio canale a crescere e ad evolversi in maniera spero sempre più qualitativa. Se vi siete persi il tutorial ve lo lascio qui in alto da qualche parte in una scheda del, sul, sul video e comunque anche nella descrizione di questo video. Bene spero che questo video contenuto sia stato di tuo gradimento, Chartmill lo adoro, lo sto usando sempre più spesso. Lo avete visto anche in live quando vado ad analizzare alcuni eh, REIT. Come detto non copre tutto ma copre una buona fetta di mercato, quello magari più interessante. Come detto è gratuito e completo. Ma se avete un utilizzo più da trader intensivo, che ha bisogno di tante informazioni, in breve tempo vi vengono offerte delle soluzioni in abbonamento, diciamo pay as you go comprando crediti. Poi se tutto questo video ti è piaciuto lascia per favore un bel pollice in su per l'algoritmo di YouTube per te gratis, ma aiuti tanto il canale a me, per me significa tantissimo. Se poi sei nuovo ti prego di iscriverti, di cliccare la campanella delle notifiche così non ti perdi nel suo video successivo. Basta, non ti elenco più niente perché anche per oggi è tutto e noi ci vediamo domani con un nuovo video. Ciao!